two pipes can fill a cistern in 14 and 16 hours respectively. The pipes are opened simultaneously and it is found that due to leakage in the bottom, 32 minutes extra are taken for the cistern to be filled up. If the cistern is full, in what time would the leak empty it? Okay, so there are two pipes, let's call them A and B and they can fill the cistern in 14 and 16 hours respectively. So A can fill the fill it in 14 hours and B can fill it in 16 hours. Let's take the LCM here. I hope you know how to calculate the LCM. So LCM of 16 and 14 is 112 and let's say this 112 is the total capacity of the tank 112 units. Okay. Now we know that A can fill the entire thing in 14 hours, but how much can it fill in one single hour? To calculate that we divide the total capacity by total time. Your total capacity is 112, 112 divided by 14, we get 8 units per hour. So that means A can fill 8 units per hour. Similarly with B, 112 by 15, 112 by 16, we get 7 units per hour. Now. The pipes are open simultaneously and it is found that due to leakage in the bottom, 32 minutes extra are taken for the system to be filled up. Now pay attention here. Listen carefully. A and B are open simultaneously and they were supposed to take X hours to fill the entire tank of capacity 112. Okay. But what happened is, it is found that due to the leakage, so there is a leakage. Let's call this leakage as C. This is a leak. And since this is a leak, we had a negative sign here. Since there was a leak, so along with A and B, there was a leak which is minus C. It took 32 minutes extra. Okay. So originally it would have taken X hours, but it took 32 minutes extra. So let's first convert this minute into hours. So we divide it by 60. We get X plus 32 by 60 hours. Okay. So then it filled the entire tank of 112 capacity. <coughs> What the question is asking us, if the system is full in what time would the leak empty it? Okay. Now from this equation, we can find out the value of x. So we know a plus b, a plus b is what? 7 plus 8 is 15. 15x is equals to 112. So we get x is equals to 112 by 15. Now we substitute this value of x in here. So let's first find out this part of the equation. What is it? x plus 32 by 60. So let's simplify this. It would be 4 8s and 4 15s. And x is what? 112 by 15 plus 8 by 15. So we get 15 LCM and this is 120. So 5 3s, 5 2s, 5 4s, and 3 8s. Okay. <clears throat> so that means this part of the equation is 8. <clears throat> so let's solve it. We get a plus b is 15. So 15 minus c multiplied by 8 is equals to 112. So we can uh, subtract this 8 1s are 3 8 4s are. So we get 15 minus c is equals to 14. So minus c is equals to 14 minus 15 is minus 1 minus minus gets cancelled. So we get the value of c which is 1 unit per hour okay so that means c can empty one unit per hour and how much in what time would the leak empty it so we need time so time would be how much does it have to empty it have to empty 112 unit and it empties one unit per hour so divided by one so we get our answer which is 112 hours and this is our required answer so your option b is the correct one